Chris Perry here, back with a brand new AFL video for you. We are taking a step further with this one, and that is why we have Will of the AFL Dragons, the hey, LA Dragons, yes. with us right now. So you know that with Rick, I kind of got into just the most basic things about AFL, about Absolutely. the sport. Mm -hmm. What I want to know specifically from you right now is first, a little bit about yourself because I, I hear you didn't really know much about the sport when you first no, got into no. it. No, no. So I moved here coming up on four years ago. This is my fourth year with the team. Um, and so I really didn't, when I moved here, I had no friends and I was in a fraternity in college and my coworker had been playing for seven or eight years and he was like, come on out have a kick, get to know the boys, like worst case is you're terrible, which you probably will be, and you can just go drink beer afterwards because these Aussies, that's one stereotype that holds true, they love to drink. So I was like, great, you know, I, I need some friends. And so the first year I was kind of taking it more as like a social aspect, but then I fell in love with the sport after a few practices. But I just came down, had a kick with the guys, and right away they could, they could tell I was enjoying it and they gave me a ball to take home. So I got to go home, and when you start on your first practice, they take you aside, you warm up with the crew, you do the introductions during the stretches, you say hi to everyone. And then two of the most experienced players or somebody with an injury will take you aside. And for the first half of practice, they teach you how to handball, how to mm -hmm. kick. And they're not gonna get it right away, especially the drop with the kick, but you get the basics and then they throw you right in the drill. And everyone's super positive because no one's paid to be here. So everybody's really supportive and you just have a blast. And, uh, and then you get to take the ball home and practice in your room, or at least that's, that's what I did. Sounds like a nice community there, oh, which is was. an immediate draw for oh, something 100%. like this. Oh, 100%. It's like they're, they're open to everyone. We've had all types of people come in, and girls, obviously. But uh, yeah, so they just, right away you were welcome, and it felt like a good spot. And they kind of show you the ropes, because they know it's crazy. I don't even understand the full technical rules. When I'm watching it, every now and then I'm like, wait, why is that? And then they'll explain it to me, like, oh, you got it use your knees when you're on the back. I'm like, interesting. There's right? a, a lot of that stuff, and yeah. I, I have a feeling I'll need many, many more videos to get into it all, but I mean, first mm -hmm. off, when you were just explaining it to me, I, like when I go out, mm -hmm. I say, oh, you want to have a catch, whether I'm talking about baseball, softball, football, something like that, Absolutely. I, I want to have a kick. Yeah, it's all, yeah you want to go out and have a kick, you're having a kick okay. with the mates. Yeah, okay. actually, absolutely. I mean, you catch the kick, but it's the sport's built more around the kick than the catch mm -hmm. of it, actually, So, because it's a very flowing game, Especially at our level, there's a lot of dropped passes and catches, all so right. uh, it's all about just getting the kick right, because <laughs> the team with the best kick wins. So you first sign up to do all of this, mm -hmm. you get pulled aside to learn the mm -hmm. basics. What is the first technique you learn when you start getting into AFL? Um, the first one's the handball, because everyone everyone can hold the ball kind of like, I always imagine it like a Shakespeare actor holding the skull in Hamlet, and you just punch it right at the bottom and okay. so it's pretty it's a pretty fun way to move to like learn for your first time and you can get it two or three punches and you're like oh I got the basic idea okay um, and then right after that they'll teach you how to kick it and it's all about holding it mm -hmm. so the butt or the tail drops straight down and you kick it so it spins backwards through the air okay so the, um, the most basic things here no. are actually how to, to actually how the to ball do it. Mm -hmm. and then how to kick it as yeah, well. Yeah, because it's very much like soccer. There's 18 people on each side. So there's tons of players running around the mm -hmm. field. So even when you're terrible, they put you out there saying, kick it towards where we have more guys than them. Okay. And it'll just be a fight over the ball. And LA is known for being a scrappy team. So we almost always emerge with the ball. Yeah, there's a lot bigger guys than me, but I got to get in there and get the fight on. Now, so. what happens when defense comes into play? What techniques can you learn to actually so you, stop the other team? You stay on your man is like our basic strategy. There's two kind of things. There's more of a zone and man to man, just like in basketball, but mm -hmm. just like in basketball zones for a little more advanced defenders and people who have been playing for a while and can flow. But you almost always want to just stick on your guy on defense. So, because it's, you know, it kind of breaks down to the three lines of six, defense, middle, forwards. And uh, your defensive six are gonna stick on their forward six. And it's kind of, it kind of evens out. And if you can shut them down there, then they're just not gonna get the ball. And even if they do, you're gonna be right on top of them, ready to dispute it. And then Rick was telling me, I think he called it the three S's. Yeah. And the, and the one I remember, I, I thought it was a very appropriate name, is the spoiler. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, so how do you start learning how to, you know, so, it's kind of to initiate one of those in a way that's actually going to work. It's all gut. You'll know it because the ball will come in and your guy you're defending is going to go okay. up for it and you're going to stop him. Like you're not going to want him to get it. Just like uh, 
I don't know, in basketball, I played a lot of basketball growing up. And so when somebody would pass them the ball, you're going to go to try and intercept it. Okay. And that's exactly what you're going to so, do So here. it's it's instinct. It's, it your, it's your gut it's to pure, reach your hand out and actually Yeah, and actually just it. knock it out of their, okay. out of their hands. That's a spoil. And I'm decent at that because I wait a second. Then you leap in last minute and just smack it. Because you don't have to catch it or anything. You just got to make sure that they don't. And then okay. you spoiled it. And does height come into play? Oh, absolutely. Here? There's an AFL saying that it's a little dirty, but I'll clean it up. And it says at the end of the game, the fast guys aren't fast, but the tall guys are still tall. So <laughs> height is very much okay. in play because it's, a, it's an hour and 20 minutes in a full game of running. So, you know, by the end you're tired, but you can't shrink tall people down. So okay. the taller you are, the better. It absolutely helps. All right, now for you specifically mm -hmm. as a player, what what technique, what style of playing, what tip did anybody give you that made your game better? Um, well, when I it's like the first the first couple games, I was kind of terrible. And uh, the one thing I could do though was hit people. And so people would like get out, get around me, and like cheer me on. They're like, oh, good hit, Will. And so I just learned that like ferocity, like that. That was right. what got me the most compliments. That's when I like actually got my hands on the ball. And so I would just say I, I attack with pure ferocity. Okay, and where I, where do the referees draw the line with ferocity? So, like, so you can't, if they don't have the ball, you can't just like clean their clock. But if I had the ball. Clean their clock? Yeah, like just smash them okay, for no reason. Okay, okay. Is even, that an AFL thing or just no, something no, I should no, know no, in just, sports no, in general? No. I speak with a lot of slang and colloquialisms. <laughs> so, uh, but you can't just hit them really hard. You can. You can do that though if I had the ball and you're a defender and you okay. see me and you're within a few feet of me, you're coming to tackle me. If I'm on, on my own team, I can smack you away and it's called a shepherd. So I can like, mm. hit you with my arms. I can't necessarily tackle you. You can only really tackle people with the ball, but you can like body check them, which you know when you're running at full speed, it's like the same thing as a tackle. You're knocking them into the dirt. And uh, the refs are pretty good. No hits above the knees. No low kicks. Mm -hmm. like if you're going down to scoop the ball off the ground, you can't do anything like kicks. And anything. They, help, they protect the player pretty well. And since there's no pads, a lot of the hits are really thought out. By like when I hit someone, I got to think like I'm not protected at all. Like there's no pads, mm -hmm. so you got to tackle smart, which is why there's less concussions than football and like a little less injuries. I feel because mm, it's not like you're just you can't just throw yourself full bore 100 percent into a hit. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna hurt yourself. That's interesting to hear because the video that was kind of the gateway into mm -hmm. all this that we're doing right now was the the best marks. Yeah, and it, I mean it's acrobatic type Absolutely. stuff, and it, and it looks up. very dangerous. It to is. Me. It, it is a little dangerous. There's definitely an element of danger to it, but once you kind of get in the field and you get a sense for it, you can really tell like when somebody did something that was like a little little bit of a, a da more dangerous move mm -hmm. than others, and you you kind of get the feel for it and. I mean, sometimes emotions run high, and that's when the hits get a little, a little more dangerous as well. But in general, people are pretty good because none of us here are like you know professionals. Like we're all semi-pro or amateur, you know, at best. So you know, we we, we kind of have a nice camaraderie with each other. But then when you know you hit the national levels, it's, it, it gets serious. But it's again with the no pads, people play mm -hmm. smart. They don't want to, they don't want to knock themselves out of play. I'm a competitive person, so I get it. But playing smart because I don't ever want to stop playing. So playing smart. Top priority. Will, thank you for breaking all that down. You are very down. welcome. Do you want to tell the viewers where to find you, maybe on social Absolutely. media or anything else? Facebook, LA Dragons. Um, we're all over. Also, our website, if you Google LA Dragons, I think it's like ladragons.com. Easy peasy. Come on out. Everyone's welcome to practice. It's all the info's posted there. Just come out. We'll say hi. All right. I thank you for myself. doing this. You're and very welcome. Thank you guys for watching this video. Another special shout out to Michael, who made all this AFL coverage happen. Michael is a uh, top tier Patreon supporter and I really can't thank you enough for opening up my world to a brand new sports because you know how much I love sports. So thank you for that, Michael. Thank you for watching this video. Like and share. See you soon with more of them.